Getafe Football Club, a once small and obscure club in the lower divisions of Spain, has rapidly ascended divisions domestically and arrived in European competition, now becoming one of the more discussed clubs in European football. This is both for their unique approach to the game and controversies both on and off the field. But how did it come to this? Getafe's story dates back to 1946, when the club was founded in the Madrid suburb of Getafe. For many years they toiled in the lower divisions of Spanish football, far from the spotlight of La Liga. The club's early years were characterised by hard work, determination and an unwavering commitment to football in a region overshadowed by giants like Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. The early 2000s marked a turning point for Getafe as they embarked on an extraordinary ascent through the ranks of Spanish football. In the 2003-2004 season, Getafe secured promotion to La Liga for the first time in their history. This was a monumental achievement for the club and a sign of greater things to come. The remarkable rise wasn't limited to just reaching La Liga. Getafe made headlines by reaching the Copa del Rey final in the 2006-2007 season, where they came agonisingly close to lifting the trophy. However, coinciding with Getafe's newfound success was a unique style of play, now often referred to as terrorist football. This style was developed during their successful years in the 2000s. Getafe's terrorist football is all about intensity, high pressing and a fearless approach to taking on opponents. They become renowned for their ability to disrupt the rhythm of even the most established teams. In recent years this style has come under intense scrutiny under current manager Jose Bordalas. His first stint at the club came from 2016 to 2021 and he returned in 2023 after a brief spell in Valencia. His team's style of football is often heavily criticised due to the constant attempts to break up the flow of the game and prevent football being played as far as possible. This was reflected when, in February 2020, in a Europa League tie against Ajax, the ball was only in play a total of 42 minutes and 36 seconds one of the lowest recorded times recorded in a professional game. This style of play has also been associated with dirtiness and a lack of professionalism, with very physical tackles being made, often off the ball, and a general lack of sportsmanship. The fans of the club, too, are no strangers to controversy, with racism being so rife in Spanish football. In 2007, Samuel Eto'o, then playing for Barcelona, faced racial abuse from a section of Getafe fans during a match with around 50 spectators greeting his every touch with howls and abuse. The club's president at the time, Ángel Torres, took a unique approach to addressing these accusations of racism. We reject racism and xenophobia, and we will show it. I will propose my team paint their faces black for the next match. <laughs> Returning to the present day, Getafe continues to make headlines for the wrong reasons with the audacious signing of Mason Greenwood. In October 2022, Mason was charged with rape, controlling and coercive behaviour and assault causing actual bodily harm, with his girlfriend of the time, Harriet Robson, being the victim. Clear and obvious audio evidence backed this up, however, charges were eventually dropped at the request of Harriet, wishing to continue their relationship. At no point was Greenwood cleared of the allegations and as such had not featured for Manchester United since even Saudi Arabian teams distancing themselves from sending Greenwood, citing his bad reputation. Gaddafi were delighted to step in and take him on a loan deal, seemingly the only club in Europe's top leagues that were interested in having him wear their colours. Further still, Gaddafi have ignored all criticism of the move and even seem to be playing up to the negative attention they have drawn themselves. Since then, Greenwood has already made his debut for the club and it seems likely he could become a critical member of the squad this season. There's no doubt Getafe have cemented their place in the top flight of Spanish football. However, does their philosophy just represent a good prioritisation of their football? Or does it represent a much deeper lack of respect for their own brand and questionable morals at best? Let me know down below in the comments what you think of them. If you enjoyed the content, please do hit the subscription bell, leave a like on the video. There'll be a lot more content to come. Thanks for watching. Cheers.